Pisces. Welcome to your tarot today. So we're starting here with Major Arcanas and twice you have the Hierophant. Wisdom that comes with two different decks. This is your spiritual growth, it's commitment, it's truly deciding that your path, your focus is going to be solely going up. We saw the rise up yesterday and lately if there's been confusion into how practically you can make things happen in your life or how you can find the stability within yourself that is strong enough so that whatever comes your way won't defeat you. That's really important at this time, that whatever comes doesn't move you. And so right now, when it comes to your manifestation outwardly, there is a definite need to find the stabilization first within. All manifestation, the magician came through as well will come from the sense of stability and confidence in oneself. And that means that Pisces, you go through a death and rebirth. <clears throat> and you have been going through that. We've been seeing that healing taking place. Um, here you have the infinite symbol as well as here on his crown chakra. And that signifies, it could signify to inflame. We do have the lovers also that came in your subconscious here. But here, there's a sense of when it comes to your emotional state, which, as you know, Pisces often comes related to another person, a situation, a relationship. And it's been very vivid the last few months, especially the last month. And so this year, 2022, we've seen a lot of twin flame union and a lot of soulmates reuniting because there is collectively a need for um, helping the collective rise. And you're on the forefront of that, Pisces. We know that. So that's why twin flame is coming out strongly and really... Why is it coming up? Is that that type of relationship is not as simple as regular karmic or soulmate ones. Because there's such a mission, there's such an elevated sense of service, it demands of the two parties to cultivate a heart that opens up beyond the ego heart and the ego heart is the attachment the dependency and all of that and as pisces we it, it is our lesson i often say that as a lesson of the zodiac to go beyond to get the the christ consciousness which is really the christ heart the jesus his heart the compassion true compassion is a heart that opens beyond its own needs that opens beyond the drama of, oh, you like this person, you don't like me, or, you know, what is a relationship, what is pure love, or what is actually moral, what is life itself, how can we accept emotions that come and go, and how can we, at the end of this, surrender to what the universe has in line for us in this relationship or in our life in general, right? Maybe getting to that depth here of internally understanding and connecting once and for all with the universe and the humility that comes with that, where whatever comes, this relationship can last and that last you know all of those very brain mental conflict um issues that we are often emotionally attached to identified to you know 
um, having a family, not having a family, being in a relationship that is free, you know, with more people, or really committing to that one. And what does that what does that entail emotionally, spiritually? I mean, there's so much we could talk about love for ages, right? But there's a moment where here you cannot live in the past. There is a death of the emotional insecurity when it comes to that and going beyond, meaning that you climb the stairs, you climb the stairs to the light and you give it all. You just let it. Because who are we to know what will happen in the future, what is meant for us, what is meant for the other person, what is meant for all of us. <clears throat> and so here there is a focus on going beyond oneself. And as you are able to let go of negative pattern as well, of not believing in relationship or, you know, uh, as we saw yesterday, there's a sense of truly getting real, getting practical, getting at the core of what life means for you. Why are you here? What is your mission? What is important at the end of the day, right? If you're going to die, what would you regret not having done or said or felt? That is the depth of the stability that we can find within. And that's the core foundation to manifest Pisces. So here we do see the eight of cups coming in, the eight of summer with the fairies, the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. So definitely, again, twice we have death and rebirth. So twice the hair friend, spiritual growth, and twice death and rebirth. So it's a definite shift going deeper, choosing to just let go of the drama, let go of the ego, let go. And it's not an easy task, it's a choice in the moment, but then there is the practice of it, there is the focus within. You have here release, number 13, let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities, time to move on. So two saying time to move on. Time to move on internally, I would say, most of all. Time to move on from those petty things, those petty emotions, those depressive thoughts, those negative thoughts, emotions, heavy emotions, and all that that entails. You know that all comes from the attention you put at every single moment. If your attention goes towards that negative thought, towards the glass of water half empty, it will go there. But then if you choose in that very single moment, the, the same moment, to see it full and see the colors, see the possibilities, then that is what you will go towards, Pisces. And here we do have a nine of pentacles, nine of autumn coming through, which is being independently self-employed and being happy, abundant by yourself. You have here music coming through as well, creativity. And we have the full moon Leo tomorrow, which is very much about the heart that we just talked about and about creativity. Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. This is finding the key to your life. Whatever, whoever is around you, the family, the kids, um, <clears throat> the friends, the lover, the, the flame, whatever it is, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because you know that the truth of it all is that you are basically alone and that's not depressive it's the truth of it it's you and god it's you and the divine it's you and the light it's you and the heart the universe the heart of the universe universe of the heart there's nothing else and so if you live from that inspiration pisces this is going to give you a tremendous power of creativity that we saw that is happening here astrologically for us with um, Jupiter and, and Neptune and us coming into our season Pisces so until April we have three months of manifestation big time so make the most of it here you have here the resolution of difficulties a weight lifted off your shoulders 
the end of an addiction or codependency. So all of that heaviness we just talked about, devil energy, fears. Are you going to live from fear or are you going to live from love? Can you be the demonstration? Can you become a demonstration of love itself? Can you become love itself? It's huge when we say that because at the end of the day, you know, there's near-death experiences that come and reveal the people that come back from, from this, those experiences and say that what they experienced, you know, was pure love, pure kindness, the love of a kid, really, this purity where there's no uh, ego manipulation or ego um, satisfaction um, or just everything with expectation or needing another person you know all of that that is not pure love free love free love what is free love and we'll talk more about that in other readings of course because that's a theme it's really the theme of humanity isn't everyone searching for love right so here there's a vision you have a vision and you are starting to be motivated and go for it. The two of wands, the three of wands. You are deciding to take the steps to actually practically materialize and put in the action. Here you have the page of cups. Put the action towards what? What you love. Page of cups, imagination, creativity. What is your joy? What is What makes you feel that you are useful? Right? that you're bringing something to the table. Whether it is successful, not successful, that's a judgment. Right now, it's about turning a page on the past and on the self-sabotage energy that can happen with Pisces and switching that into, I don't care. I feel moved. There is the, the wind whispering and blowing in my in my wings, in my in my being, and I'm being moved to do this. I'm being moved. And that is, you find that internally. Once you are really centered in your spirituality, like we saw here with the Hierophant, when you're actually there, when you're committed to that, then you're no longer afraid of commitment. That's what came through, is that awesome relationship if that's been the case, if that's been on the table for some of you, there's a shift that is taking place here. And you're no longer letting relationships or others determine your work or your mission. You are becoming a king of pentacle, which is very grounded, which it takes its time, it's stable, but it's abundant, it's able to manifest what it needs. And it's someone, earth energy, that is really pragmatic. You become pragmatic, Pisces, if that's possible, because you as a mutable sign and always, you know, adapting yourself and, you know, so flexible and, you know, sometimes getting lost. No, now you're becoming very practical because you're finding, again, this strength within that we just talked about, the spiritual strength and the balance the balance within yourself the balance the even give and take within the relationship especially if here we have a number six 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 now so this definitely also talks to a twin flame but here a very strong soulmate energy coming through but there's a balance and even give and take there is something that is happening a closer um, a chapter perhaps closing on the past here with the world which is closing all the illusions the subconscious fears all of that Pisces you're letting go of, of all of it it's finished business it's opening yourself to the world to the service to the planets of the universe beyond all of those fears and um, what is hidden, the, um, all that you have really been afraid of your whole life. 
it's deciding I don't want to live in this in this heartbreak. I don't want to live in this uncertainty, in this inse emotional insecurity. I don't want to live. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live, live like this. I decide the light. I decide the love. I decide this. And I will go for that and only that. And what happens is this, Pisces. This beautiful card, this beautiful depiction in this tarot deck of the Ten of Cups with this Buddha laughing and serene and tranquil. This is the happiest card of the deck when it comes to uh, fulfilling your life emotionally. The sun is the ultimate one in the tarot. But here, look, you have the spirituality here. You have the, the sense of content, contentedness, of love with the roses here but of wisdom at the same time and just being okay with everything that comes and goes. All the people, you know, solitude, no solitude, too many people, um, negative people, good people, bad people, um, the world, different cultures, all of that, doesn't matter. He's here and nothing matters anymore. There's just light, there's just love, and there's just true connection with the divine. Once you are deeply, truly nurturing this link, direct link with the light, with true heart, this humility, you go beyond your ego. It's magical. There's nothing else. And you, that gives you power that is tremendous, that no one really has in the normal egoic world. Only when you get into that state of consciousness that is higher than yourself, and that's your own responsibility, then you can experience this magic, this heaven on earth, right, Pisces? So, I hope this was helpful for you today. I will start doing much more um, tarot with clarification, and look hard readings, you know, two to three readings a day for sure and oracles and spiritual growth and contemplation readings. So the sky is the limit for us now, Pisces, and I love you so much. Please do take care. Bye-bye.